my name is Donna O'Toole and I'm the founder of August. We are an awards agency helping businesses, leaders and teams to win the very best awards in the world. So I am an entrepreneur and uh, but I certainly didn't always want to be one. It wasn't on the agenda from the start. Um, when I was growing up, I had quite a different uh, childhood. And when I, in my, in my last year of school, which is when I was going to take my GCSEs, um, unfortunately, my family had a, a bit of a breakdown and I was taken into care um, at the age, or actually on my 16th birthday. Um, so while my friends were all revising for their GCSEs and exams and everything, I was learning how to look after myself and uh, in, a, in a house shared with other girls who were like me who'd had family difficulties that was looked after by the social services. So we had to look after ourselves and learn uh, very quickly how to do our washing and cook and clean and all those other things, find our own way to school, which was a long way away, and um, try and continue with our exams. So I'm very pleased to say that I did continue with my exams and I did get all of my GCSEs, albeit probably not quite the marks I could have got in a different scenario, but still. Um, and at the time, my ambition was to be an English teacher. I'd always wanted to be an English teacher. My passion was English. I love creative writing, um, but I'm also quite am analytical. Um, unfortunately, at that stage, it was very difficult for me to then continue my education. Um, and to cut a long story short, I ended up needing to find a job and I was determined to get a job where I would learn something on the job and I could do exams. I actually really enjoy exams, I'm a bit of a geek. And so I did, I became a dental nurse and I, for two years I worked every day of the week, six days a week actually I worked and I did exams and learning in the evening at college um, and I took my exams and I became a dental nurse. I was 20 I had started a dental nursing agency um, because actually I got really bored sitting in one place working with different dentists and I wanted to travel around more work with different people I wanted to be in control of my own destiny I think I was really driven by just taking charge of my own security my own financial security my own safety and I knew that I could also earn more um, if I worked as an agency rather than just uh, working in one practice. And I started my dental agency, it was hugely successful, uh, probably the most successful in the country at the time, because uh, it was a very new concept and I absolutely loved it. I made loads of friends, loads of contacts and learned a lot from that. Um, a few years later, I got married and I decided that I wanted to have children and I didn't want to work at that time and I was very lucky not to be able to. So I had two daughters, uh, in, well, so I was um, age 24 and 26 when I had my daughters and I took some time out of working to, um, to look after them. However, I got bored really quickly and found out that actually my mind never stops working and so constantly throughout um, them being babies, I was always studying something. I studied child psychology, I, ch I studied anything and everything. And then I thought, you know what it is? I'm, I'm a bit unfulfilled because I never got to go to university and do what it is that I really, really passionately wanted to do. So I decided to make a commitment to myself that I would do that and I would fulfill that dream that I'd always had to go to university. I think I also felt a little bit inadequate around people who had been to university. I felt that they didn't take me seriously and I really just wanted to have that opportunity and show people what I was made of. It was something that I needed to do for me. So um, when my children were three and five, I embarked on a access course because I didn't have A-levels. Started an access course to get me into university and then a year later, um, when they were four and six, I started a full-time degree in English language linguistics. Um, so that was quite a juggle with two little children and getting them to and from school and getting myself to and from university. I would uh, juggle the studying during the day and then when I got them to bed at night, I would start work at nine o'clock at night and I would finish work about two or three o'clock in the morning. I was also working at the same time because I'd started a writing job, business writing job, uh, to hone my skills. And so it was pretty full on for a few years and it was, I won't pretend that it wasn't tough, it was. But when I graduated, the year I graduated, 
was just the best feeling of my life. Shortly after that, I thought, what am I going to do with this? Uh, you know, I need to now get out there in the world and do something exciting. And I started working in the awards industry, writing awards nominations for um, businesses uh, to help them to win awards. I did that for a few years working with someone else. And then after a while, I realized that actually I can do this for myself and I can do it in a way that suits my values and suits my personality and suits the culture that I want to create. And not only that, I can nurture other people to do the same. I can train people and I can really inspire them to come on this journey with me. So uh, in 2015, I started my own agency called August. And uh, I'm very pleased to say that we have grown and grown. We now work with the leading names in the world that you would have heard of because they're all household brands. We also work with some really exciting new entrepreneurs who need to raise their profile and get their business recognized. And the important thing about awards is actually goes back down to that, what I was talking about earlier, which is actually about recognition and reward and actually celebrating what people can achieve and celebrating the hard work that goes into business day after day after day and actually using that recognition and that reward to drive business forward, to raise team morale, to make people feel really inspired, to make them want to do more, to make them want to achieve more, to help them to raise their profile out there in the world so that people know who they are. So I am very privileged to have worked with some of the world's leading entrepreneurs um, to support them to raise their profile. And I'm really, really enjoying the journey. Um, my two girls now are age 17 and 15. So we're going through the GCSE and the A-level um, work at the moment. And they're both uh, very different actually, very, very different ones. Very, very academic, one is very, very sporty. Um, they have different likes and dislikes um, and different challenges. So, but I'm really, really passionate about them as girls being taken seriously and whatever they choose to do. And that doesn't mean that they have to go to university if they don't want to. At the moment, I've got one who does and one who doesn't. It means actually being recognized for what you are, the person you are inside and the values that you have and what you can give to the world. And, and that doesn't mean that you have to go to university. I had a passion to do that. I had something that I needed to prove to myself, I think. Um, and I'm really pleased that I did, but that is certainly not for everyone. And I would say in my experience of working with so many successful entrepreneurs to win quite literally the biggest awards in the, in the whole world, um, most of them haven't had a formal education. Most of them have actually just found something they're really, really passionate about and stuck to it. So I think for me, the values that you need to have to be a, an entrepreneur and particularly a female entrepreneur in this world are determination, resilience, um, to personal drive, self-discipline to make yourself get up and do things when you don't feel like it. Um, and all those amazing qualities that we all have within us. It's absolutely not about what you score on a sheet anywhere. That doesn't equate to your value um, at all. So for me, I just want to say to you, whatever your dream is, hang on to it focus on it and don't ever think it's too late, time's passed you by, maybe you should have done this or that you haven't taken the same pathway as maybe your friends or family members. You can achieve whatever you want to achieve at any point in your life. You just need to stick to your guns, be determined and use all of those special qualities that are unique to you and your story to help you to get there. Never be afraid to ask for help and for support because that's what we're all here for. Um, and really do stick to your dreams and shoot for the stars because you deserve it and you can do it. And good luck from us at August.